That was January 18th, 2024. Wow. It's very, very, um, I'll turn you around and show you. It's snowy out there. Typical backyard look. That seems to be my, my outdoor scenery for right now. But hopefully once the weather improves, I'm just going to stick you right there. Um, yeah, it's very cold and, um, I don't like the cold, so I don't do a whole lot outside. I'm a very fair weather walker. So once it starts to, um, get a little bit milder, I probably will go for walk in the afternoon. Maybe take you around the neighborhood, but that's later. Um, I just wanted to bellyache a little bit about my knitting. I, uh, my knitting mojo has been, um, and I don't know why. I want to knit, and I have been knitting. I have made tons, <laughs> tons of uh, dishcloths, washcloths, whatever. Some of them are done and finished, and some are not, and some are uh, just some, some scraps of, it's grandma's favorite dishcloth. You find it online. It's simple, mindless potato chip knitting. But I decided I was going to make some dishcloths or washcloths for some gal pals for Valentine's Day. Now I've just started these ones. And this is, um, it's a little, it's a little heart in the center. Yeah, you can't really see it yet because it's just started. But it's made, I'm making it with Burnett's cotton. And just a backstory, about four years ago, I fell and broke my, my wrist, and my ulna, my thumb joint, and it was horrible. And I'm finding that this yarn is not nice to that injury. It, it, I'm, I, it's, it's, it's not cured. It's, it's uh, mended and it's fine and I have most use of it. But the constant, I don't know what it is about the Bernats. Looking at it. I don't know what it is about the Burnett's, but it's really hard on my on my wee joints. My sister gifted me at Christmas uh, some suds uh, cotton, and that was very nice. It didn't it glided easily. I used my chow goos, my go tos, my chow goos, uh, interchangeables. Um, Yes, the suds was very nice. It's, it glided nicely and whatever. I find this stuff catches and it seems to be really thick. I don't know, anyway. Uh, the other one that I like is the Lions brand, but uh, the Lions brand cotton yarn, but I can't seem to find that anywhere in the place that I used to get it from, Yarn Canada. Well, they've gone out of the yarn selling business or into uh, spinning wheels and weaving. And, and I don't plan to get into that anytime. So I have I have been doing other things other than the dishcloths. Um, the headband, which I do like. It's a little bit too big, but I still wear it. I made another one, a little narrower, and in another, this was done in the loops and thread, um, and, and another loops and thread uh, colorway. And I gave it to my granddaughter because they were here last, last weekend and it was very cold and she didn't have a hat. So I asked her if she wanted it and she said yes. So I gave it to her. No, I don't know if she'll, if she'll actually wear it or not, but it's hers now. And during the move, I wanted something a little bit, a little something easy to make too. And so I have this pattern for the easiest shawl ever. And it's just a little triangular shawl. I forget the pattern. And again, this was done loops and thread either. Uh, the loops and thread too. Seem to be a loops and thread girl recently. This one has a little bit of a sheen, a little uh, sparkle to it. I don't know if it'll catch it. Anyway, um, I'm not really sure where this 
where I'm going with this with this blog. It's mostly, like I said before, it's mostly a, a journal for me to catch up or to keep track of different things that I do in my my world, in my knitting world, in my baking world, in my family world. And yeah, so that's that. Um, yeah, I did make a pair of mittens with some Cascade Chunky, Bulky, but I can't seem to find them. Hmm, I wonder where they are. Um, my immediate family are not terribly knitworthy. Um, I don't know if it's because they just don't want it or they don't appreciate it or whatever, but I have done it in the past. I've made hats and I've made, I've made um, mittens, cowls, sweaters, and I don't know. They just, eh, you know, it's kind of like, okay, thanks. <laughs> Ian kind of is. I have made him a hat and I have a sweater on the needles, tin can knits. North Shore, I think it's called. Uh, I have those on the needles and they've been on the needles for like the last three plus years. The body's pretty much done. I just have the yoke to do, which is the color work yoke. And I should really do it because the color work is the most fun part of that kind of sweater. Now, my sister, Beth, is knitworthy, and she is a knitter as well. She's just started out. She's only been knitting like maybe the last less than five years, maybe. But she is knitworthy, and I have knitted her things. And I'm thinking I might, I don't think she watch, She looks at this very often, but I'm thinking of knitting her some um, fingerless gloves for for Galentine's, but we'll see. So anyway, that's it for now. And yeah, so maybe I will chat later, but uh, I just needed to get that, I just needed to get that knitting, those knitting woes off of my chest. So anyway, maybe I will have something to show for afterwards. Oh, the other thing too is that I know that our local store, our local yarn shop, the real wool shop, um, does carry suds. So I may have to go there tomorrow because I would like to make a few of these for um, kind of see the bottom of the heart in that one. I would like to make a few of these for some friends. Anyway, have a good rest of the day and I'll see you later. So here I am. Sitting in the parking lot of the drugstore, the uh, Rexall drugstore here in town, um, on one of the coldest days of the year. It's minus 26. No, it feels like minus, it's 18, it feels like minus 26. But I'm determined to go to the, to the wool shop and get uh, this cotton yarn that I want to do these little washcloths with. And maybe check out and see what else they have. <clears> that might inspire me to do something else. A cowl. Ian said he'd like a hat. <laughs> After I bellyache to him this morning about um, no, not knitworthy family. He looked a little hurt. <laughs> I know he is. I'm sure he would wear whatever I made for him. Uh, but anyway, so yes. So when I go, it's nine o'clock, and the wool shop doesn't open till nine thirty. But uh, I might pop into the dollar store here too and see if they have any valentine's stuff so yes there i go so here i am back from my shopping expedition i did okay i'll just show you what i got from the dollar store everybody likes a good little haul thing i didn't get very much i got some stickers Valentine's stickers for my journal and uh, for some gifts, maybe some Valentine's Day cards that I plan on doing. I bought some watercolors and I'm thinking of trying to do that for some for some cards, just some letter stickers. And I, I I do have letter stamps, but I have no idea where they are. They're 
in boxes somewhere downstairs. I just bought some tissue paper and some bags for for little gifts for whomever. And just another little thing of stickers. And I did go to the real little shop. I didn't take any pictures, like I said. I'm a little self-conscious, but I'll put a little picture of um a picture from the internet of what the outside of the store looks like, and I think it was taken in the fall. So I'm doing not too badly on that dishcloth. I've actually only got about 10 rows to go. There it is there. But I did get some um, suds. I got this one is this one's called cotton spray. It's kind of a pink. It's pink and white, looking a little orange in the but it's pink. And then this one is solid violet. And this one is solid orchid. So I'm thinking I might make three more little claws. Send one or two to my sister, maybe. And then I um, bought some. I, I do like uh, the Barocco vintage. This is is very soft. It's a worsted. Of course, it's a worsted. And it's kind of a rosy pink color. It's not anyway. It's a little rosy pink color. I might make myself some mittens or fingerless gloves, perhaps, with it. <coughs> Excuse me. And after Ian this morning said that he would wear a hat if I if I knit him one, I got some of this vintage chunky. <coughs> Sorry. My throat feels very dry. Um, do they even have colors though? No, it's just numbers. But anyway, it's a lovely royal blue color. <laughs> so make him a chunky little hat with it. Oh yes, I get this fun, fun uh, ribbon for one of my parcels. Yeah. So that's, that's what I did. I did forget to show you, I did make a pair of this, like I'm calling them my store mitts because I cast them on. I cast them on at the first storm and finished them off pretty much the second. They just need their thumbs. And they're made with Briggs and Little. Nice, tough, good working yarn. I do like working with it. I do have to use wooden needles when I, when I uh, knit with it though because it slides everywhere. So yeah, so there's there's my knitting ver knitting part of of my vlog for today. Um, a wee caveat of my knitting rant earlier about my family not being knit worthy. If you're my family and you would like a pair of mittens or a headband, let me know, and I will knit you a pair of mittens or a headband. Yes, I will. <laughs> well, I think that's it for today. Ian is has just left. It's just lunchtime. He has just left to have lunch with um, a friend of ours, a very dear friend. We've been friends with this guy for a long time, over 30 years. And he's had his ups and downs with his whatevers. And his recent partner... Um, her daughter just passed away. Her daughter was 44, died of a heart attack just, you know, just after Christmas. And anyway, so he's having lunch, Ian's having lunch with him today, and he's off looking for that Western tanager again. <laughs> hopefully he finds this thing soon. But anyway, it's it's been spotted today, so hopefully he goes after lunch. Although it's very, very cold. He's taken all of his all of his woolies and his mittens and his 
scarf and he's got his long johns on so hopefully that'll keep him warm it's uh i'm not making anything for supper tonight because he's going for lunch and maybe he'll eat enough for lunch maybe he'll have some leftovers to bring home i'm happy enough with a salad or some scrambled eggs so anyway so that's the end of today's vlog maybe i'll post it up today and be on, be gone with that be up with that nope do that i don't know i'm babbling i think so i think i need to go and have some lunch and maybe a cup of tea and maybe finish this and maybe start another one which one should i start with i think this one i think i'm going to start with this one anyway have a great day and um it's very it's lovely it's sunny but it's very very cold and i'm not going to show you the back because that is the only scene that i ever show you but maybe i'll show you what out front looks like just hold on there we go lovely sunshine kind of blue skies but the sun shining there it is Ooh. well yeah Okay, let's go back inside. Oh, it's cold. Got my fire going. <laughs> and I'll sit there. 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 Uh, uh, there. <laughs> and do some knitting. Bye. <laughs>